three major storm systems targeting the United States this week. Over the next seven days, three powerful storm systems are set to impact the United States, each bringing its own wave of chaos, danger, and disruption. We're talking about widespread flooding threats, ferocious winds, and even the possibility of extreme snowfall across multiple regions. In today's detailed forecast, we'll break down everything you need to know about this evolving pattern that's about to reshape America's weather. But first, let's take a look at the current conditions across the nation. And for now, things are surprisingly calm. Across most of the U.S., it's a beautiful and tranquil day. However, there are two areas demanding close attention. The first lies across the southeast, where a growing pocket of moisture and instability is beginning to organize. Meteorologists are closely monitoring this feature as it is projected to intensify into a powerful nor'easter heading into the weekend and early next week. This developing system could unleash significant flooding and damaging winds from Florida all the way to New England, lasting through at least Tuesday of next week. In short, we're looking at a system capable of hurricane-like impacts, though not tropical in nature. Meanwhile, out in the desert southwest, deep tropical moisture is streaming in from the Pacific, connected to Hurricane Priscilla. The storm is tracking toward Baja, California, and as it weakens, it will release an atmospheric surge that could trigger historic flooding across portions of Arizona, Nevada, and New Mexico. Further north, a potent low-pressure system is churning just off the Oregon and Washington coasts. As it sweeps inland this weekend, it's expected to bring heavy snowfall to the Rockies and possibly even blizzard conditions across southern Canada. The emerging monster, two systems become one. Over the next 24 to 48 hours, meteorologists are watching a dramatic scenario unfold. Two separate storm systems are on track to merge into one massive high-impact storm by Saturday into Sunday. At the mid-levels of the atmosphere and along the jet stream, energy from the southeast low and another disturbance over the Great Lakes will begin to combine. As they converge, they'll generate a powerful coastal system that will rapidly intensify just off the Atlantic coast. While this storm will not be tropical in nature, it will behave much like one, producing hurricane force gusts, dangerous surf, and widespread coastal flooding. Wind gusts could easily reach 80 to 90 mph in some locations, from South Carolina's coastline up through southern New England. We'll pinpoint the areas most at risk shortly. Meanwhile, in the west, snowstorm takes aim at the Rockies. As this monster coastal storm pounds the east, another system will sweep through the northern Rockies and plains, bringing heavy snow, gusty winds, and even isolated severe thunderstorms from Montana to Wyoming through Sunday and Monday. Snowfall totals could pile up impressively across Idaho, Montana, and into Saskatchewan, Canada, signaling one of the earliest widespread snow events of the season. Looking ahead, big shifts next week. By midweek, a strong ridge of high pressure will rebuild along the Gulf Coast, effectively shutting down any new tropical development for the next five to seven days. The Atlantic hurricane season so far has been unusually quiet, and that trend looks to continue. But the calm won't last long. By Thursday into Saturday, another major storm system is forecast to emerge across the desert southwest, setting the stage for yet another active and turbulent weather pattern across the nation. Extreme rainfall, hurricane force winds, and blizzard conditions, a turbulent weather pattern unfolds across America. This upcoming stretch of days will deliver relentless rainfall and turbulent winds as multiple storm systems continue to intensify and collide across the United States. Let's simplify the chaos by looking at the future radar outlook. Friday night storms begin to organize. By tonight, widespread showers and thunderstorms will dominate Florida and parts of Georgia. A developing low-pressure system near 1,007 millibars is beginning to take shape, while a weaker disturbance drifts across Michigan. Meanwhile, high pressure is building across Minnesota and the Dakotas, creating a stark contrast of calm and chaos. Expect strong, gusty winds tonight and into Saturday across much of the Great Plains as these systems begin to interact. Saturday's intensification along the coast. As we move into Saturday afternoon, the southeastern low will begin accelerating northward, strengthening as it nears Cape Hatteras and eastern North Carolina. 
By then, it will be a formidable coastal system, unloading torrential rain through Saturday and Sunday with a serious flooding threat in play. By Sunday morning, the storm will push into Maryland, and according to the latest GFS model, it may shift inland across Virginia later that day, spreading heavy rain and embedded thunderstorms across Pennsylvania, Virginia, and southern New England. Meanwhile, in the north, a wind machine takes shape. While the east battles heavy rain, a powerful low-pressure system will be spinning up over North Dakota. The tight clustering of isobars on the weather map signals intense wind speeds, and that means another howling wind event across the central and northern plains Sunday and Monday, eerily similar to last weekend's pattern. Simultaneously, the northern Rockies will see heavy mountain snowfall, especially across Idaho, Montana, and southern Canada, where blizzard conditions may emerge over Saskatchewan. Sunday into early week, dual storm impacts peak. By late Sunday into Monday, the northern system pushes into Canada, while the east coast storm evolves into a full-fledged northeaster, unleashing pounding surf, soaking rain, and damaging gusts. Through Tuesday, it will gradually weaken, and by Wednesday or Thursday, the nor'easter will finally exit the coast, leaving much of the nation in a temporary lull of calm. However, the next several days will remain highly active, particularly for those along the West Coast, Desert Southwest, and Atlantic Seaboard. Major flood risk inches upon inches of rainfall. The Weather Prediction Center's latest rainfall projections show widespread totals of 1-3 inches from southern New England through Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and into eastern Virginia. Localized zones could see 5-8 inches, and in the most intense coastal bands, 10-12 inches of rain are entirely possible. Areas like Cape Hatteras, southern Delaware, and eastern New Jersey are especially vulnerable to catastrophic flooding if these rain bands stall near the shoreline. Hurricane-like winds without the hurricane. Once the southeast and Great Lakes systems collide, winds will surge dramatically, especially along the coastline. By Saturday afternoon, gusts near 40-50 map will lash the Carolina coast, while offshore winds may roar as high as 60-70 map. By Saturday evening, gusts up to 60 minth will be pushing into Cape Hatteras, spreading northward into Delaware and Maryland early Sunday. By Sunday afternoon, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and even Washington, D.C. could face widespread 40-70 MPH winds with isolated power outages expected. If you have Halloween decorations or outdoor inflatables, bring them indoors because they will fly. By Monday morning, southern New England will still experience 40-60 MPH gusts, enough to cause tree damage, power disruptions, and coastal erosion. Even though this isn't a hurricane or tropical storm, it will mimic one in every sense, from flooding and destructive winds to dangerous surf minus the storm surge or tropical classification. So Andrew was kind of in the middle, except it got funded during a season. Historic rainfall, early snowfall, and tropical storm updates. An unprecedented week of weather for the U.S. and beyond. The relentless parade of storms continues across the United States, and it's not slowing down anytime soon. As showers and thunderstorms linger and intensify, they'll gradually drift eastward, targeting southeastern Arizona and much of New Mexico, with scattered storm activity also persisting across Utah. Mm. Unfortunately, this will not be a quick-moving system. Instead, we're looking at a multi-day, slow-moving rainfall event that will stretch through Sunday, Monday, and even Tuesday, making it one of the most prolonged and significant rain events the desert southwest has seen in years. Flash flood threat, a rare desert deluge. Over the next several days, the region will be drenched by anomalous rainfall totals. By Monday afternoon into early Tuesday, models indicate one to four inches of rain from western Colorado through central Arizona, including the Phoenix metro area. Some localized zones could experience five to seven inches of rainfall near historic levels for this arid region. Flash flooding will be a serious concern. Safety reminder, if you encounter flooded roadways, turn around, don't drown. Winter's first touch, early season snow arrives. Meanwhile, in the Pacific Northwest, winter makes an early appearance. As the moisture-rich Pacific air collides with colder northern flow, heavy snow will blanket portions of Washington, Idaho, Montana, and southern. Snowfall accumulations of 8 to 16 inches are expected late Sunday night into early Monday, tapering off by Tuesday.
This marks one of the first substantial snowfalls of the season, and to the north, parts of Canada could see a full-fledged winter storm developing by early next week. Major temperature reversal coming. Beyond the rain and snow, a dramatic temperature shift is about to unfold. Currently, above-average warmth dominates the Great Plains, while the East Coast experiences a mild mix of near-normal conditions. However, by late Sunday into early Monday, a powerful blast of cold air will plunge into the northwest and northern plains, dropping temperatures 20 to 30 degrees below average in some areas. This Arctic punch will be brief, lasting 24 to 36 hours, before milder air returns by Tuesday night into Wednesday. By Thursday and Friday, the temperature pattern will be mixed nationwide, with no major heat waves expected, though record warmth remains possible Sunday across Canada and the central U.S. Tropical Storm Jerry and Subtropical Storm Karen updates. While the continental U.S. wrestles with rain, snow, and wind, the Atlantic Basin is stirring with tropical activity once again. Tropical Storm Jerry Currently churning near the Lesser Antilles, Tropical Storm Jerry is projected to move northward over the coming days, before curving eastward out to sea. Though Bermuda will see minor impacts, Jerry will continue to deliver heavy rain and localized storm surge to the Leeward Islands over the next 24 hours. The storm is expected to briefly strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane by Sunday morning, before weakening again under strong wind shear. Meteorologists at the National Hurricane Center have downgraded earlier expectations of a Category 2 system, noting that upper-level winds are limiting its growth. Subtropical Storm Karen Meanwhile, Subtropical Storm Karen spins harmlessly in the northeastern Atlantic. Karen will continue moving northeast, gradually weakening into late Saturday before dissipating entirely. As one forecaster humorously noted, Karen might have to talk to a manager before she's done. Final thoughts. Between the historic rainfall in the southwest, early snowfall in the Pacific Northwest, a sharp blast of cold air, and two active tropical systems in the Atlantic, the next several days will test the atmosphere's limits. Stay weather aware, stay prepared, and if you haven't yet, subscribe for tomorrow's forecast update as new model runs will refine the evolving picture. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay safe, stay informed, and stay ahead of the storm.